Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk. Today we're going to talk about how to transform a point um, to reflect in the x-axis. So let's do a graphical representation of what we want to do. So here we have the Cartesian plane. Okay, and let's draw a point somewhere on the Cartesian plane. Let's say I have three and four. Okay, this let's call this point point A. And it has the coordinates three, four. Now let's say we want to reflect point A in the x-axis. What happens is it will be reflected so that its image will be over here and let's call it a dash and the coordinates is 3 negative 4 okay so we have reflected this point in the x-axis let's do another quick example let's say we have the point over here point B and let's say it has a coordinates 1 2 now if I reflect it it will be over here and the coordinates will be 1, negative 2. Okay, so if we want to write a general equation that represents this transformation, okay, basically if you compare the x-coordinate of what the point is originally and the x-coordinate of the image they are the same so how do we represent this well we write it as x dash equals x where x dash represents the x coordinate of image and x represents the x coordinate oops x coordinate of original point okay so X is transformed into X dash now because they're the same we can just say they're equal now let's have a look at the Y coordinates the Y coordinate of the image is equal to what the Y coordinate is originally but multiplied by negative 1 so it's negative 1 y. Okay, now using these two equations, we can pretty much apply it to any point and we can get its reflection. So for example, let's say I now I have the point negative 4 negative 5. Okay, let's say we have this point here and let's call this point C with negative 4 negative 5 now applying this equation all right we have X dash equals X so X dash will be negative 4 and Y dash will be negative Y which is negative 1 times negative 5 which is 5 so these two numbers are the coordinates of our image of C so it'll be negative 4 5 so we can draw a point here and say this is point C dash again reflected in the x-axis Okay, so now we know how to reflect points using this equation. We now, have, we now have to talk about how this applies with matrices. Okay, now basically a linear transformation which includes reflections can be written as y dash equals ax plus by actually let's start with x dash x dash equals ax plus by and y dash equals ax 
so let's use another two um, variable cx plus dy okay this is a summary of how you can transform any points using a linear transformation okay now writing this in matrix form we then have x dash y dash equals a b c d times x y right because a x times b y equals x dash which is what we have here and c x times d y is equal to y dash which is what we have here so this is the matrix representation now let's compare this to what we made up originally so we have x dash equals x and y dash equals negative 1 y now if I want to write this using matrix transformations okay x dash equals x so therefore I'm just gonna put 1x plus 0y and then y dash equals negative 1y so it's 0x plus negative 1y so I have written this these two equations in the format they want us to write it as so therefore we have a is 1 B is 0 C is 0 D is negative 1 so I can write it in my matrix equation so I have 1 0 0 negative 1 times XY okay and 1 0 0 negative 1 therefore is what we call L which is the transformation or linear transformation matrix so using matrices I can simply use this linear transformation matrix to multiply by any point so L times any point will give us the image okay L times any point will give us the image so let's try it with any two points L times um, let's say 5 7 okay so let's write it out so L is 1 0 0 negative 1 times by 5 7 right 1 times 5 is 5 0 times 7 is 0 so it'll be 5 0 times 5 is 0 negative 1 times 7 is negative 7 so that is the answer and this is therefore the image of this point if we apply this transformation matrix to it okay that's it for today hope you guys have learned something see you next time